afternoon just having a walk up to Whitwell Woods in um, about 10 minutes from where I live in Whitwell I've been meaning to come down and bring the camera down um, throughout autumn just to, uh, just to have a walk around the woods. I don't think I've done any video in in the woods yet, but it's, it's been lovely in autumn. But um, autumn seems to have been and gone now. We're now in December. So we've got the main avenue that runs off down there towards the centre of the woods, but we're going to head off to the right hand side just as we come in and go the, go the quieter way. So we have got these colour coded posts that you'll see around the wood and you'll see the different coloured paths marked on the maps. So Whitwell Woods, it's uh, well, situated just outside Whitwell, it's on the A619 that runs between um, Chesterfield and Worksop, so just up from junction 30 of the M1. Now, it, it has, well, I don't know if you'd call it a car park, there is quite a, a sizeable lay-by that normally has a, uh, normally has a, a sort of burger van, a snack van on there, so there's normally plenty of parking even on weekends. But we've walked up today, because like I say, we only live a 10 minute walk away. So they're a decent sized woods, I don't know the actual area that they cover, I'll find that out and put it on screen. Um, but they're quite easy to navigate around, the, the main part of the woods set out a bit like a bicycle wheel with a main avenue running through it so it's probably best demonstrated by showing you the Strava heat maps Does anybody know what age the dogs grow out of the lunatic spell? His latest thing that he likes doing is just rolling around in mud and grass. And I mean mud. Just absolutely, it's like a pig. Perils of using a long lead when you're not paying 100% attention. That's it. He normally keeps running around the tree, following me around. It's getting more tangled. So we're getting a bit deeper into the woods now. So I'm walking around the circular path, so the circumference of that wheel I was talking about. So I'm just going to head off down towards the south end of the woods. Sorry, the north end of the woods, get my directions right. Um, and then just head off on some of the uh, some of the smaller paths. Got a nice little path with a little stream just down the, down the top end of the woods. It's really quiet down that end. You rarely see anyone else. I'm in the middle of night shifts at the moment, so went to bed at seven this morning. I was wide awake by 10, 10 o'clock, so. About another, well, I'm not back in bed till seven o'clock tomorrow morning. So that's gonna be interesting. What have you done? Tangled up. Come on. Come on. You daft dog. Come on. Oh, he's gonna have me over. You don't believe how much money we've spent on trainers. That is dog trainers, not running trainers. Although he is chewing through my running trainers. So I've also spent money on running trainers, as well as dog trainers. Don't want to be out too long. It is forecast quite um, heavy rain 
about an hour or two. Um, was out on a lads weekend away, a bit of a lads getaway that we keep keep putting off because of COVID. Um, we went to Buxton, a bit of walking, a bit of drinking. It rained for the entire time last weekend that we was away for the two nights. We had a bit of a six mile walk on the Saturday um, from Monsell Head down the Y Valley and back through Ashford and Monsell Trail. It was everyone was just soaked right down it was just relentless rain on the way back i ended up taking a bit of a tumble getting a bit muddy so cheers jp for letting me in your car even though i was caked in mud so you can see fields there we're right on the edge of the woods at the moment so looking off in that direction i suppose it's over towards shire oaks way that little uh little airport over there at netherthorpe Nice little walks over those fields. Eventually, if you follow the paths, you can come come out at Chesterfield Canal, down at Turner Wood, down that way. It's pointless trying to shout commands at this dog when he's in places like this. I don't think he even knows you exist. Come on, go down. Stop. Come on. I'm sure in his dog mind, he's thinking that he's out to time me out. Yeah, down this north end of the woods, anyone's interested in their geology, things like that, we do have some, uh, some nice rock formations and cuttings just a bit further up. So we'll start to uh, to see soon some of the work that the Forestry Commission have done as to manage the uh, as to manage the woods. Just heading up towards the centre of that wheel, so, so as you could say, the hub. Hey, stop it! Come on. Now I'm sure when I came down here. About two weeks ago, this was just full of stacks of huge logs. Whenever I see a lorry on the road, on the motorway, full of logs, it always makes me think of um, Final Destination 2. So I suppose you could say this is the centre of the woods. This is that hub that I was mentioning. So this is where all the centre of, uh, of that bicycle wheel so all these paths, all going off in every direction. Do with a pub or something here. Just got a solitary picnic table. And straight from that, that hub, we're walking straight back up the main avenue now, back towards the main road where we came in. So that's it, that's Whitwell Woods. Who doesn't love a walk around the woods? On a Saturday afternoon, I think I'm tempted by uh, the chippy for tea before I start work tonight. So I'll sign off there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon in another video.